is their 68th wedding anniversary. They got married back in 1945, three years after meeting each other at a Christmas dance. They are the longest married presidential couple. How about that? January 6th must be a lucky day for the Bush family. It was also on this day back in 2001 when a joint session of Congress declared George W. Bush president-elect. The Supreme Court finally settled the bitterly contested election that came down to just five electoral votes. It was actually Al Gore who declared the winner out loud to Congress, but not before congressional members staged one final protest. This is the NBC Nightly News story from that day. Yeah. Today's passions, the result of 35 days of doubt in Florida after the November vote. Almost all of the objections came from members of the Congressional Black Caucus in protest of alleged voting irregularities involving minorities. But they were destined to lose because federal law requires at least one senator to sign on to any objection from the House. And it's a sad day in America, Mr. President, when we can't find a senator to sign the gentleman, objections. The gentleman will suspend. The objection is in writing, and I don't care that it is not, it is not signed by a member of the Senate. The, uh, the chair will advise that the rules do care. And, uh, the, the in the end, members of the Black Caucus walked out, venting their anger at both parties in a news conference. We will never get over this. We will take this, I personally will take it to my grave. But the count went on state by state with the expected outcome. George W. Bush of the state of Texas has received for President of the United States 271 votes. Al Gore of the state of Tennessee has received 266 votes. May God bless our new president and our new vice president, and may God bless the United States of America.